why I feel this way Every day I wanna run away I think I'll go back to that place I stay Play on the server the time shot way Hello, people. It's Poet. We're back on Time Shot, and um, let me just attempt here to uh, adjust my mic. My mic stand is so broken. I don't know if you saw it in the last episode. Uh, again, uh, no face cam this episode. I'll explain that in a second. Um, not that I have to explain it. I've like I've done no episodes with face cam, and all of a sudden I have to explain it. No, um, but. I don't know if you saw, my mic stand is is broken in a way that, like, the microphone actually sort of just hangs loosely and the screw is just stripped or something. I don't know. I could probably fix it if I took it apart. Um, just haven't gotten around to that yet. And I feel like if I take it apart, there's a chance that I just won't be able to put it back in and then I'll be sort of stuck with a, a mic on my desk or something and it'll, it'll be even worse. And I, well, Anyway. Um, another thing too, like, I don't know if you can hear, but like my mouse will be clanking around because I don't have my mouse pad on my desk yet. It's one of the most basic things that you can put in an office, but I forgot about it. So, uh, started hitting record and then realized I don't have my mouse pad and that you'll probably hear every mouse noise. Um, but now that I say that I'm trying to be very quiet with my mouse and do very smooth gestures with it so that it doesn't clang around. Um, anyway, no face cam today, uh, because as with this new office, I've got, um, sort of two setups here. So I use my desk. I, I'd almost need to like take pictures of it one day, show you guys how it's set up. It, it's so cool. If you do, if you know what a KVM is, um, well, great. You know, sort of how I do it. If you don't know what that is, well then look it up. It's basically it gives you uh, one output and two or more inputs. So what does that do for me? Essentially, I can have my my uh, work computer. So I have um, a laptop that my office gave me, uh, and I need to work on that because of just the kind of well, you you never want to work off of your personal computer. Like I'm sure that, you know, during the pandemic era here, tons of people are, are working off of their personal computers to do, you know, office stuff, but really you shouldn't. And I learned that when I was working for Microsoft, when you're working with, um, well, I guess it's more important to some companies like Microsoft, bigger companies like that than it is with, uh, smaller ones necessarily. But, um, there are a couple fears. So number one is, of course, that trade secrets will somehow be lost um, or stolen if you have them on your own personal computer. Uh, there's the risk of, like, if if the company was ever audited or sued or, um, you know, whatever, some for some legal reason, they needed the access to the assets. Um, essentially, they could... Seize your computer, um, which would really suck if it was your personal computer. And then there's just the fact that, like, you don't necessarily want to clutter your personal computer with all the spamware that your office uses. Like, maybe your office mandates that you use Slack, but you don't necessarily want that on your personal computer. Or maybe you're your work mandates that you need to use Internet Explorer, heaven forbid, and you want to use Chrome, but you, you know, they, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to throw out ideas, but anyway, it's always a good idea to have another computer for your work. So that's what they did. They gave me a computer so I could work on it. But that then gives me issue because I want to use my same setup. I love my setup. I have a beautiful keyboard I spent a lot of money on. I have a mouse, gaming mouse, and I've got, um, my monitors, dual monitors, the way that I like them, and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to work basically out of a tiny little laptop. Uh, so how do I f solve that? You get a KVM. 
And the KVM, you basically plug it in to the one computer, you plug it into the second computer, and then you hook up all your inputs the same as, as normal. And then with the click of a button, you can switch computers. So like literally one little tiny button I can press and my monitors will switch to my work laptop and my mouse and keyboard still works with my work laptop. Um, my headphones, microphone, all of that can still work with it. But I found that like, um, so I, I used to have a different KVM way, way back. Um, I think even when I was still in Canada, question mark? I used to use it for my rendering computer actually. So I had my rendering computer on uh, one input and my my personal computer on the other. So that if I needed to go and edit some footage or video or whatever, um, I could just press a button and I'd be on that other computer. I didn't have to deal with like remote desktop software or um, having to deal with uh, like m multiple monitors, multiple keyboards and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's another use case for it, I guess. But this new KVM that I've got, it was a fairly expensive one. It's it's fairly well made, I think. But for some reason, like if you if you load it up with USB equipment and stuff, and I've got a lot on it, granted. Um, with my work laptop included, I think I have maybe five USB inputs on it. And really, it's only made for maybe, I think, two or three. So... I guess just those extra two or whatever, um, it, it makes it so it doesn't really work very well. So, long, long, long story short, um, I really need my webcam for work right now. I do video f uh, conferencing every day. Um, so, I mean... <laughs> Never mind having, like, to, to put yourself out there for, like, you know, streaming and stuff. That sort of prepared me for having to do it, uh, I guess, with customers and, and whatnot. I work uh, as an engineer in this, for this company, and um, we deal with customer issues all the time. And they'll book meetings on sort of, like, this large team calendar for anybody in the department, not just for, um, like, their... Uh, not just their personal rep or whatever, but for anybody. Um, because we can all answer those kinds of tech questions that they have. And, um, anyway, I'm on calls with customers all day, every day. Not all day, but a lot of the day. <laughs> in meetings with my team, in meetings with engineers, in meeting with uh, the QA team, in meeting with uh, product team, in meeting with um, the customer success team. There's all these different teams. And they all have meetings that are all super important and they all um, need face cam. And it's sort of mandated. Well, it is mandated. It's not sort of. It is mandated uh, by my CEO. So the CEO of the company says that if you are going to be in a meeting, you have to be on face cam. I know a lot of people probably right now are like cringing and being like, oh, well, I wouldn't. I just, w I would quit, you know? I'd, it's not a problem for me. I've never had a problem with face cam, really. Um, or putting myself out there being, you know, a personal person. Um, I guess the problem for me is more like sometimes it's just not needed. But I guess his take on it is you know, if, if we're going to be in a meeting, we we should show each other that we're real humans. We're not just, you know, robots or whatever. We don't get to see each other in real life because we're uh, a remote team. So the most we can do, the, at least the least we can do, I mean, is sort of put a face to a name and, and have a uh, face cam. So... I like I like it in a way like thinking back to again the Microsoft days um, I really didn't get to know my team very well I mean I did I talked to them every day but if I really think back on it a lot of it feels like because we were a distributed team because we were remote um, 
I don't know. I just feel like I, there were there was some sort of disconnect there, not being able to see them when you talk to them. We were in Discord all day, so we didn't get to see video, really. Uh, and there was sort of a disconnect there, so that when you finally met someone, it was like, oh, so that's what you look like. Ah, okay. Not that that's a big deal or anything, but you know, it's it it is sort of nice to be able to put a face to a name, and it kind of gives you that um, a closeness somehow. I don't know how, but it just does. Which you just don't get from from not having video. So anyway, I like doing it, but anyway, I'm on it. I'm on it all day, every day, and because of that, I had to use. The, the webcam for my work. Really where this entire story was going. I have to use it for work. Can't use it for personal. I can't believe just saying those two lines really took that long to spit out. But now you know what a KVM is. <laughs> and uh, why I can't use space cam today, I guess. So what I'm, I'm actually genuinely considering doing, because the KVM doesn't work with my webcam, uh, I can't use it on my personal computer at the same time as my laptop. So what I need to do is either A, continually move them back and forth, which I just absolutely refuse to do. It's too much of a pain. It causes too many issues like um, having to reset up my, my uh, webcam in Zoom every day because we use Zoom. I realized that when I unhooked my webcam and plugged it in again, for some reason it just like didn't register, and then I had to reset that all up, and it was such a pain to do that I I said to myself, well, I'm not do that again anytime soon. Um, so I guess what I'll have to do is buy a new webcam. It's just just the way that it is. I, granted, I've had my webcam, the one that I'm using now, it's a Logitech C920, and, you know, they don't really have a newer model. They sort of do, but not really. They have, like, C920S or HD, what, I don't know what they call it. It's, it's slightly better. Um, C922, I think they have as well. But, like, anyway, there's not really much better. They haven't really improved the technology. I bought this webcam like 10 years ago and just nothing has changed. Except that now like Logitech, the company itself has a new logo for the company and my webcam still has the old logo. That's, just, that's like the only way that I can tell that it's it's the, uh, the old version of the camera really. But... I guess I should get a new one, even if it's the same model, um, just the, the 2021 edition or whatever, because I'm going to have to switch back and forth, and I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I guess that'll be the way. And then, once that's all done and set up and whatever, uh, i got to get my mic stand in a better position somehow, some way. I just got to gotta get a, a better mic stand, I guess, or fix the one that I've got. I don't know. Once that's done, uh, we can get back into streaming, which is the, the main goal here. And I guess I don't really, really, really desperately need... I don't really desperately need a webcam or anything for, for streaming, but if you don't see that, like, I, I know from person from my personal experience... When I'm watching streams on Twitch or wherever, on YouTube, wherever. If I don't see, like if I search a game and I don't see a webcam, I, I'm i less likely to tune in for some reason. Like, you don't necessarily tune in for um, the footage or the conversation or the, the gameplay or whatever. You tune in for the personality in those cases. So... You know, I I hesitate to tune into a video that doesn't have face cam. Thank you guys for doing it every every other day for YouTube with without a face cam. But I would love to bring face cam in for streaming, and uh, before I really before I get that off the ground, and then um, 
maybe standardize streaming with face cam for time shot videos. I said this way back in season two, if you remember. There was a video where I was saying, like, I actually had a couple face cam videos in season two, and I said, you know, I I think that I would do this all the time for time shot. It makes sense. Because we're we're chatting, we're talking. It's sort of you and me in a room together, sipping cocktails and chatting about life, right? <laughs> Minus the cocktails for me. It's just gaming for me. But anyway, um, I guess I should deal with this, shouldn't I? Really? Honestly? By the way, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a pirate. If it wasn't obvious. Of course it's obvious. Um... I have no idea what this all is. I've been waiting, so... I know, we're pretty late in the video to get started on all this. Maybe I should save... Well, yeah, save it? Ah, I don't know. Ah, uh, I guess I just... Here's, here's my screenshot for the day. Here's my screenshot. Burning ship of light. Anyway, um, it sort of fits with the ragged ship, though. Um... I was really, really, really hoping to get some of the old pirates in on Time Shot Season 3 to help out with this. I I was begging on my knees. Um, Wynn <laughs> refused, <laughs> essentially because she was the pirate queen, if you remember, in Season 1. Um, and then the whole Pants Ninja thing happened, and Pants Pirates or whatever. And she refused to take Mara's pants, and so we kicked her out as Queen of the Pirates, and so she refused. It's a better screenshot, isn't it? Um, so she, she refused. She's not the Pirate Queen anymore, apparently, <laughs> according to her. And, uh, despite my begging. And I talked to Captain Code... And he was, he was in, he was in, he was like, yes, let's do it. Um, but I can't right now or something. And so like, um, days and days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks went by months. Even, uh, he ended up, he, he moved and then been really busy. We've got him pegged down for some more like uh, lads night recording of, of maybe a new, uh, CTM map or something. But apart from that, he's been super busy. And, uh, Fabe, of course, Fabe, uh, I, again, begged on my hands and knees, Fabe, please come through, come through as a pirate, I need you, and, uh, he was actually appreciative too, he was like, yes, let's do it, but he was moving to Japan, <laughs> which, like, I guess that's a good excuse if you're moving to Japan. Uh, and he was like, I'm moving to Japan, maybe when I'm I'm all settled there. Um, I see the pictures, Fabe. I know you're watching this. I see the pictures. I see you there. You're there. You've moved. You can record. Um, yeah, so that was, I think, uh, essentially his excuse. Though I only hit him up once, and I really only hit up code once, too. And it could have been... Uh, I probably could have begged on my hands and knees more. Uh, I really, really wish I could get the, the old the old gang back together. But basically what's happened here, I can see as a pirate myself. And you can't pull one past me. Is that uh, someone's come around and set the ship on fire. With all those weird signs. That to me, I don't even know what they mean. Well, I destroy them all, so I guess I can't look now. Whoops! But it was basically like, what what was once dead can't die, or some dumb thing. I don't know. Why did they they re they replaced blocks? They replaced blocks here first. Can I point that out? That when I built this ship, it definitely didn't have like magma blocks and stuff in it. Um, which they've obviously come through and and like all of this. That's new. I'm not changing it though. <laughs> it's just gonna be like that. Battle scars on this old rig. 
Although I guess I could change the mast. The mast is sort of important, isn't it? Um, did I get all the fire here? Yeah, I think I did. Look at them, I gave them ladders for easy access. Yeah. If I can, oop! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get up there. Put a block, I guess. I never really thought about the functionality of this ship. Ne never been required before. Oh, come on. Who puts a magma block over there? Ugh. Got it. Oh, this is weird. I don't even remember. I guess this was wood. <laughs> Wasn't it? I don't know. I'll put wood. <laughs> and then, like, the rest, like, they, they clearly replaced... They replaced the ladder. This is weird. Um, fire here. One. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one here. Yeah, I missed one because I can see, I can hear it. Ah, there it was. Right beside me. That one's way down there. All right, and then these, these weird, I don't know, I don't know what that's supposed to be—a goblin or a demon type of thing. Pac-Man. I don't know. There was one up on top of the flag there too. I think that I removed already. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. I think we pretty well got it. And now I gotta replace all these, um, the, the, I wanna at least make the mast look back to normal. So, I think I got, I think I got it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Can I, can I hit it if I'm on a rocket? Do you think I can do that? Is that even possible? Oop! It's too fast. It's way too fast. That was a bad idea. Where was it? Oh, okay. Can I can I hit it from here? Yeah. I thought I heard fire in here too. Oh. That would be why. Apparently they lit the outside of the ship too. Okay, I think I got it now. Yeah, I think I got it. This is all sort of back to normal. There's this thing here, what is dead can never die. What is dead can never die. Very repetitive group. You should have taken our warning seriously. Hey! What? No! This has been a thing this whole time? I seriously didn't know this was here. Seriously, did not know that this was here. Man. I gotta end it. I gotta end this episode. Wait, can I not see? Can I not see where I am in relation to this thing? Do I need like a cartography table or something? How does this work? Can I... What does it mean, locked? Locked? What does that mean? How come I can't see my cursor on this? I don't like that. It's genius, though, whatever it is. I don't know where this is. Map 135. Can I... If I just duplicate it, will it still be locked, do you think? Or will it be fixed? Like, is that a, th is that a thing? Can I just do that? Uh, I don't even know how maps work I'll be honest I don't know maybe I can um, but that's going to be next time I think we're going to go on a little treasure hunt here and I'll go back and show you guys some of the other things that I've been doing as a pirate next time on Time Shot bye bye Oh, 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 oh,